Hi kids, it's me, Miss Booksy. Sometimes in our adventures, we meet really fun fairies along the way. Let's read all of our fairy stories right now. Far, far away, farther than you've ever imagined, there is a magical place called Neverland. It used to be Never Neverland, but we shortened it back in 1911. Oh, sorry, I should introduce myself. I'm Tinkerbell. <laughs> I've lived here forever. No, seriously, like forever. <laughs> Since the beginning of time. You see, I'm a fairy. <laughs> and as you know, fairies can live forever. Well, as long as enough children still believe in fairies. You do believe in fairies, don't you? Good. <laughs> so yeah, I'm like a million billion years old. And I don't look a day over a million. <laughs> and of course, being a fairy means I can fly. <laughs> see? <laughs> My friend Peter can fly too, but he's not a fairy. He needs fairy dust and happy thoughts to fly. But I can fly whenever I want, because I have fairy wings. Even when I'm thinking really sad thoughts like, what if I never ate birthday cake again ever in my life? That would be truly sad. But look, still flying. <laughs> birthday cake is very special in Neverland, by the way, because a lot of people here don't have birthdays, like Peter. He stopped having birthdays when he turned 11. He's been 11 for years and years and years and years. <laughs> when someone does have a birthday, it's a very big to do with lots and lots and lots and lots of cake. <laughs> anyway, let me tell you more about Neverland. There are people like Tiger Lily and the Lost Boys. Hello. Hi there. Fairies, of course. Hey. Hello. Mermaids. What's up? And pirates. Yar. They're very annoying. More on them later. <laughs> Sometimes we have visitors from the mainland. That's what we call your world. Actually, Peter Pan and the Lost Boys came from the mainland. They all started out as regular babies. And then one by one, a nice fairy comes along and scoops them up and brings them here to Neverland, where they get to be a child forever and ever and ever. Oh, I hope you don't think that's scary or sad. Being a kid is the best. Really, think about how great your life is as a kid. You get to play all day. Grown-ups have to go to work at boring jobs and wear uncomfortable suits and say things like, bills, bills, bills. So Peter and the Lost Boys get to play forever. They live in tree houses with lots of fun stuff like zip lines and slides and parachutes. And no one ever tells them to go to bed or keep their elbows off the table or clean their room. Oh, hey, there's Peter now. Hey, Petey. <laughs> hey, Tink, who you talking to? Those kids out there. Guys, say hi to Peter Pan. Hi. I've been telling them all about Neverland and everyone who lives here. You should tell them the story of Captain Hook. Which one? Good point. I guess there are a lot. Well, maybe you should start with the story of how we met the darlings. Great idea. OK, kids, get settled, because this story takes a lot of twists and turns. It started one night around bedtime. Peter was flying around the mainland just as parents were putting their children to sleep. Peter would listen at nursery windows, hoping to hear a bit of a bedtime story. He remembered hearing bedtime stories when he was just a little baby, and it made him feel really happy to hear them again. So there he was, flying around, looking and listening for the best story, when he heard the sweetest voice. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Cinderella. Well, that's what her mean stepsisters and stepmother called her. Peter Pan listened to every word and was so sad when he finally heard. And everyone lived happily ever after. Not because he doesn't like everyone living happily ever after. No, that's great. It was just that I wanted to listen to this girl's stories forever. Peter Pan began flying back to the same nursery night after night, and the girl's stories only got better and better. Well, one night, Peter was so content that he drifted off to sleep during her story. Then, while he was sleeping, his shadow decided to sneak away. Shadows can be quite sneaky, by the way. <laughs> hey, come back. Stop that. Is that you, John? Get back in bed. Oh, what did you say, Wendy? Don't be scared. It's only my shadow. I'll just take it and be going. Aw, oh, nuts. Hold still. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Me? I'm Peter Pan. And that's how Peter Pan came to meet the darlings. Hey guys, so let's get back to the story. The darling children had just awakened to find Peter Pan flying around their nursery, chasing his runaway shadow. <laughs> Not your typical night. 
Nice to meet you, Peter. I'm Wendy. And I'm John. Hi, Wendy and John. Sorry about my shadow. Got it. Yay. Maybe I could sew it back on. That'd be great. Better? Perfect. How did you learn to fly like that? My friend Tink taught me. Tink? Me? A fairy! Can you teach us to fly? Please, please, please! All you have to do is think wonderful, lovely thoughts. But I think happy thoughts all the time and I've never flown. You have to concentrate really hard. I'm thinking of adorable tiny kittens. I'm thinking of a giant Ferris wheel. Petey, you're forgetting the most important part. Oh, right. Fairy dust. Now think of lovely thoughts. Whoa! Whoa! Huh? We're flying, Michael! I want to fly. Are you thinking happy thoughts? Yep. I'm thinking of flying. Yay! Shh! I hear Nana coming. Quick, pretend you're asleep. Did I hear a ruckus in here? No, Nana, no ruckus. Hmm, good. Now go to sleep. Hey, you should come to Neverland with us. What's Neverland? What's Neverland? Why, Neverland is only the most amazing place in the whole universe. Well, I've never heard of it. It's not on any globe or map. It's out there, over the sea, past the stars. Jeez, don't they teach you guys anything in school? <laughs> Come with us and see it. There are mermaids. Mermaids? Oh, let's go! Wait, we can't go out without Nana's permission. But when Nana's not here, you're in charge, Wendy. Oh, that's true. I am the eldest. Please, can we go, Wendy? Please? All right. Just for a little bit, but we have to be back by morning. Hooray! All right! Okay, lovely happy thoughts, everyone. And fairy dust. This is incredible. We're Simply wonderful. To Neverland. I have to make a dress and my hair. What am I going to do with my hair? And I have to prepare some witty banter. I haven't been around people, well, people I actually want to talk to in forever. <laughs> I hope people still like knock knock jokes. Those are my specialty. My stepmother had said I couldn't go to the ball. Well, I would just have to find a way, wouldn't I? <laughs> I began preparations in secret. My stepsisters went through dresses like they were going out of style, so I had lots of material to choose from to craft a perfect gown. <laughs> a little satin here, a little silk there, some velvet, pearls, and voila! <gasps> the most beautiful dress in the world. Oh. Shoes wouldn't be so easy, though. My stepsisters had thrown out all of my shoes back when they first moved in. None of these shoes fit. <laughs> anyway, one day I was cleaning the attic when I found a box that I had never noticed before. <gasps> shoes! These must have belonged to my mom! They were beautiful slippers that looked almost as if they were made of glass, just like in my dream. <gasps> and next to the shoes was the most exquisite necklace I'd ever seen. Everything was coming together perfectly. But it's not like the royal ball was the only thing I was thinking about. Curiously, I hadn't heard anything about my dad. You know, the whole being captured by pirates thing. Supposedly my stepmother was on it, but I just wasn't sure I could trust her. So I decided to take matters into my own hands. Harvey Beeswax, private investigator, at your service. Hi, Mr. Beeswax. My dad was captured by a gang of pirates. I need your help. Pirates, eh? Yes, and my stepmother said that she can't find him, but she's done diddly squat. Diddly squat? That's not enough. I know. So, do you think you can find him? It'll be tough, but I'm the best private eye in the city. If anybody can find your pop, it'll be me. Great. I charge three gold bits an hour, plus expenses. Oh, right. Um, money. Yeah, I don't have any of that. Sorry, kid. No money, no detective. Wait! What if I paid you in jewels? Jewels? I like jewels. What do you got? So, I brought my mother's necklace to Harvey Beeswax, private eye. Oh well, at least I still had the dress and shoes. Or so I thought. When I got home, I found this. It's mine. No, mine! Cinderella, who did you make this dress for? Me or Gritzel? Um, it's clearly for me. Blue makes you look like a blueberry. 
Well, blue makes you look like a, a blue whale. Cinderella, please settle this. I, I, I made it for myself, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Funny joke, right? <laughs> no, not really. Gee, I can't decide who it would look prettier on. Me, obviously. Uh-uh, me. Oops, I didn't like it anyway. Okay, well, let's see. I had started the day with a lovely ball gown, a diamond necklace, and glass slippers. And suddenly I had no dress, no jewelry. Well, at least I still had the shoes. They didn't fit anyway. Welp, back to square one. It's finally the day of the ball. And I had nothing to wear. <laughs> what do you think, Pegasus? Could this be shabby chic? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Too casual. Cinderella, come here. <laughs> Ugh, gotta get to work. Meanwhile, hmm, no sign of Cinderella's old man yet, but I'll solve this case. Getting Gritzel and Unga ready was no small task. They required bubble baths. Manicures, pedicures, blowouts. Finally, my stepsisters were ready for the royal ball. You guys look really nice. Um, we know. Okay, well, have a great time. <laughs> Unga, don't yell too much. And Gritzel, remember to say please and thank you. But don't forget to have some fun. That's quite enough talk, Cinderella. Goodbye. I'll be honest. I was kind of sad. I retreated to the barn with some snacks to eat my feelings. I know, it's pretty cliche, but I was sad, okay? And then, I don't know why, but I yelled out, oh, if I only had a fairy godmother. <laughs> Yoo-hoo. What? Hello. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me, frog in my throat. What's up? Did you find my dad? No, not yet. Like, don't give up, kid. I just came here to scrub for clues. Clues? Here? Yeah, you never know what you might find if you just look. You okay? Me? What? Uh, yeah, I'm definitely not crying or anything. Okay. Well, uh, see ya. He left, and I went back to feeling sorry for myself. Why? 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 <laughs> Mr. Beeswax? Sorry I'm late, sugar, but better late than never, right? Who are you? Your fairy godmother. I thought that part was pretty obvious. Whoa, I thought that was just fairy tale stuff. Cool. A lot of people think that, but I'm real. Watch this. Awesome! I know, right? So how does this work? Do I get like three wishes or something? Three wishes? What do I look like, a genie in a bottle? Oh, so no wishes? Darling, I'm here to make all your wishes come true. But not all at once. It doesn't work that way. Oh. And some of the wishes will be wishes you didn't even know you wished yet. Say what now? I know what's in your heart, sugar. How? Honey, I'm your fairy godmother. It's fairy magic, you see? All right, so first things first, let's get you ready for the ball. The ball? Yes, I so want to go to the ball. I had a dress and a necklace and shoes, but my stepsisters, they tore everything up. Well, not the necklace. I gave that to Harvey Beeswax, private eye. Long story, but I really, 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 want really- want to go to the ball, yes, I know. And with a wave of my magic wand, Cinderella had just been explaining in detail the recent happenings that she had experienced to her fairy godmother. Yes, dear, I know. You want to go to the ball. So as I was saying, with a wave of my magic wand. Oh, yeah. Like, why wouldn't I want to go? Dancing, candy, disco balls, handsome princes, hopefully chocolate milk. I love chocolate milk. OK, hold the phone, honey. We can't have you going to the ball looking like this. Ah, uh, rude. Well, I just mean you, you look uh like a mess. Yeah, yeah, I got it. You just don't look like a princess, that's all. Okay, listen, fairy GM, I think you need to quit while you're ahead and just help a sister out. 
Right, so what's your favorite color? Blue, bluish aqua, turquoise, um, aquamarine, bright blue. Okay, all right, any shade of blue, I get it. With the wave of my magic wand. Yeah. And with all my magical powers combined. Yeah. I will give you the most beautiful, flowy, princessy, sparkly, on sale from Black Friday. Huh? Ball gown. Yeah. <laughs> and what do you think, honey? I love it. Hey, what's this? Oh, nothing, dear. I'm so excited. The prince is deaf gonna want to juju on that beat with me at the ball. <laughs> Uh, you won't be dancing with those tootsies. Uh, yeah, I'm due for a mani-pedi soon. Well, stick your hands out and close your eyes, my little ragamuffin love. Boopy boopy bloody boo These are the bomb! Ooh, hopefully I won't break them. I'm kind of a klutz. Oh, they fit perfect! <laughs> okay, I better get on my way. Oh, wait. Pretty sure the castle is like 48 miles away. That would take approximately 864 minutes if I walk, if I hustle. Cinderella, and... get it together. I'm gonna hook you up. Now go get me a pumpkin, spaghetti squash, any gourd or root vegetable ought to do. Uh, no gourds to speak of, but how about this? My Halloween bucket. Well, let me just get it. That'll do, I suppose. Cinderella put the bucket down, and with one more swirl of the magic wand, the bucket became a gorgeous, sparkling carriage. A carriage is kind of like a stroller, but for adults. <laughs> I am gonna look so cool riding up in this thing. <laughs> You're gonna look cool for sure, Cinderella, but you also need to act cool. You simply need to follow my four fabulous formulas for fetching friends at a farty. Excuse me, I mean party. Oh yeah, I could use all the help I can get. Step one. Always laugh at people's jokes. Or tell your own. Oh, I've been told I have an amazing laugh. Wonderful, let's hear it. <laughs> All right, that's very distinctive. Uh, maybe just take it down a few notches. Okay, whatever. What's next? Step two, find common interests. Cheese puffs? Oh, those are my favorite snack. Snack, jinx, <laughs> same. I love those. See, we're so similar. <laughs> Okay, cheese puffs, got it. Okay, number three, be a dancing queen. Okay, this one is easy. I love dancing. Let me show you how it's done. You go, girl, do your thing. Whew, I was quite the mover and shaker in my day. Okay, so number four, I'm getting antsy and ready to go. Oh, well, you better get a move on. Um, I'll text you the rest. Sounds great, fairy godmother. <laughs> I'm just gonna be myself and have a blast. Hey, uh, who's driving this thing? My stepmother wouldn't let me go for my driver's license test. I almost forgot, you over there. And y'all over here. <laughs> well, we're off. <laughs> Thanks so much for everything, fairy. <laughs> you're the bestest in all the land. Well, you're certainly welcome. This is gonna be the best night of my life. Oh no, I forgot to tell her about the midnight thing. What is wrong with you? You forgot to tell Cinderella about the midnight rule. What were you thinking? Yoo-hoo, Cinderella! The fairy godmother caught up to the carriage and shouted after Cinderella. But clearly Cinderella was having so much fun, she didn't even notice. Well, desperate times call for desperate measures. <laughs> ah! Oh, you, uh, you scared me half to death. Cinderella, you can't go yet. Ah, fairy, you gotta cut the cord and let me go. I'm a grown woman. No, I mean the spell. Say what now? The spell at midnight. You have to be long gone from the royal ball by then. Uh, I have no intention of leaving when the party is still hopping. No, you absolutely must. No. You have to. No. You have to. Cinderella, listen to me. If you don't, then all this magic will wear off. There's always a catch. But don't worry about it. Go, enjoy yourself. Just keep track of the time. No prob. I'll set an alarm on my phone. So Cinderella continued on her journey to the castle, super excited and super nervous to meet the prince. You guys, this is going to be the best night ever. 
At the ball, Cinderella is having the time of her life. Woohoo! When suddenly she noticed two very familiar but not so friendly faces, her stepsisters. Ah, uh, brother. Or should I say, a sister. <laughs> These two. But the stepsisters didn't even notice her because they were too busy trying to vie for the prince's attention. Oh, by the way, there's the prince. Ooh, Unga, that prince is gonna love my dress. He's totes gonna dance the night away with me. No way, Grits. I'm sure he'll notice my breathtaking eyes and ask me to marry him. Meanwhile, Cinderella was doing her own thing and having so much fun at the ball. Then I told him, that's not a squirrel, it's a hamburger. <laughs> Oh, Princey, you look hungry. Let me fetch you a treat. No, I will. Ugh. Cinderella was totally enjoying her night out and away from the barn that she kind of forgot there was a prince at all. Hey, guys, who wants milkshakes? Cinderella, you are so much fun. Cinderella, guys, I don't want my stepsisters to overhear that I'm Cinderella. Please, um, please call me Sandy. Sandirella, yep, that's me. <laughs> Why haven't we seen you around the kingdom before? Oh, uh, you know, I've just been, um, you guys, oh no, I don't want the people to know I live in a barn and I'm basically a servant. Oh, what were fairies rules again? Oh yeah, common interest. Cheese puffs, don't you guys love cheese puffs? <laughs> oh, cheese cheesy, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, I love yes. them so much, they're so good. Phew, that was close. So Cinderella got back to the party, but she also started getting a bit sleepy. Woo! I am pooped, but I can't stop now. <laughs> Who knows when there'll be another royal ball. I'm sure I still got time. But the whole evening, the prince had been noticing the mystery girl, Cinderella, or <clears throat> Sandyrella, <laughs> and how happy she looked, and how she was being nice to everyone, and ate tons of cake without a care in the world. Whoa, she is a seriously cool chica. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, excuse me. Oh, I'm kind of a klutz. Oh, no, no, it was my mistake. Here, let me help you out. So, uh, this is some party. Oh, this old thing? Yeah, my mom goes kind of crazy. Yeah, my dad's kind of crazy, too. He was kidnapped by pirates. Yarg. Pirates? Whoa. Yeah, pirates. Do you want to dance? dance? Yeah. Oh, oh, wait, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh my oh gosh. gosh. I like your crown. Thanks. I like your dress. Yeah. Blue's my favorite color. No way. Mine too. Ooh, common interest. Bonus. So next week, uh, we're having this mini golf tournament here at the palace. Do you think you want to come? That sounds awesome. Cinderella had wondered how she would sneak away from her stepmother and stepsisters and come back to hang out with the prince, but... Whatever, she would figure it out. So it's a date, uh, I, I mean. But Cinderella didn't hear the prince because the music had gotten louder and she was feeling the beat. So loud, in fact, that she didn't hear her alarm on her phone ringing. Whoa, cool. <laughs> so the first question we have is from Mimi Gaming Rush. They ask, Miss Booksy, how does Peter Pan fly? I feel like there's always gonna be a flying question. How do you fly? How do airplanes fly? How do fairies fly? There's always a mystery about flying. <laughs> but you know what? I know someone better that can answer this question for us. Tinkerbell! Being a fairy means I can fly. <laughs> See? <laughs> My friend Peter can fly too, but he's not a fairy. He needs fairy dust and happy thoughts to fly. But I can fly whenever I want because I have fairy wings. Whoa, so just a little bit of fairy dust and happy thoughts. <laughs> Should we all try together? Okay, let's sprinkle on some fairy dust. <sighs> let's close our eyes and think happy thoughts. Here we go. Whoa, cool. <laughs> Can I tell you a secret? My happy thoughts had to do with ice cream, puppies, and Disneyland. <laughs> So did you fly? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below where you would go if you could fly. Okay, next up. Ooh, I've always wondered what it would be like to live in a tower. Well, kids, there were a ton of questions about Rapunzel. I guess you could say she's a pretty popular chick. <laughs> Rebecca Charles asked, Miss Booksy, how long is Rapunzel's hair? That's a great question, and I bet it's really, 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 really long. Let's measure. <laughs> Rapunzel, Rapunzel! <laughs> 
I'm almost out of measuring tape, it's so long. Okay, Rapunzel's hair is coming in at five feet seven inches long. That's 67 inches or 170.18 centimeters. That's a boatload of centimeters. Good job, Rapunzel. Keep eating that healthy food and growing that hair. KC Puppy Cute says, hi, cool school. <laughs> I just wanna ask Miss Booksy what she would do if she had long hair like Rapunzel. Well, the possibilities are endless. I could do lots of things. Use my hair to hang from tree branches, sleep on my hair, hide behind it if I'm scared. Wow, that question kind of made me want to grow my hair long like Rapunzel. What do you think, kids? What would you do if you had super long hair like her? Okay, more fairy tale questions coming up. Raid Darwich asks, which princess has the best dress that you love? Hmm, that's a tough one. There are so many beautiful dresses. Well, I think I told you guys in the past that one of my favorite colors is yellow. <laughs> so I'd say my favorite ball gown is Belle's. Her dress is the most beautiful shade of golden yellow, and it's so pretty, and it's very spinny. Oh, ugh, ugh. But I also love Pocahontas' dress because she's able to run really fast. <laughs> what do you think, kids? Like this video if you want Cool School to do a Pocahontas story time. And I also love Merida's outfit because it comes with a bow and arrow. <gasps> she stands up for herself and is strong and sassy. So that dress is amazing. Oh. That kind of answers another one of your questions. My Little Pony Lover asks, who is the bravest princess? Well, I guess Merida is pretty brave. Get it? <laughs> brave. But I also think Tiana is pretty brave. She takes chances and goes for what she wants, and she has big dreams of owning her own restaurant. Going for big dreams equals brave. <laughs> Whoa, our last question is like far out, dude. Farida K says, who are you? Who am I? 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 I mean, I'm Miss Booksy. <laughs> That's all I know how to be. Me, myself, and I. <laughs> Who are you? All right, kids, get ready. It's fairy tale time. Once upon a time. That's what we old folks say when we're not sure of the date. But way back when, there was an old man who built puppets. The kind with strings attached to their arms and legs and heads, called marionettes, actually. This man was a very lonely old man, and so he would build these puppets to keep him company. Pretty smart, actually. Well, one day, this old man built a puppet so amazing that it actually started to move on its own. Well, hi. Are you my papa? I sure am. And you are Pinocchio. Beautiful. What a lovely way to end a story. But that's not the end, for you see, a traveling circus came into town that day, which was run by the big bad wolf. And this wolf had gotten into the business of convincing children to run away with him and perform in the circus. But it wasn't as fun as that sounds. The wolf made them walk on a tightrope, which was really scary, and swing on the trapeze, which made them really dizzy, and brush lion's manes, which was really dangerous. Worst of all, they had to clean up after the elephants when they did their business. Sorry. But Pinocchio didn't know about any of that. He just wanted to see the show. Well, that night, the old man gave Pinocchio some money and asked him to run to the store to buy some milk. Okay, Papa. But he was going to buy a ticket to the circus instead. And, because it was a lie, his nose started to grow. Well then, Pinocchio went to the circus and had the time of his life. But, he saw all the other children in the crowd eating popcorn and cotton candy, and he was sad that he couldn't eat anything because he was made of wood. So after the show, just as the first star began to sparkle in the sky, he made a wish. Starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might turn into a real boy tonight. Well, the big bad wolf saw Pinocchio and thought that a wooden boy would be a great circus act. And he can use that giant nose to spin plates on top of. So he put on an old dress from the circus costume trunk and walked over to Pinocchio. So, you want to be a real boy, eh? Wow, you heard my wish. Are you my fairy godmother? I sure am. To be a real boy, all you have to do is run away from home and join the circus. 
But Pinocchio didn't feel so good about that. He would miss his papa too much, and he knew his papa would miss him. In fact, the old man was probably wondering why he was taking so long to get that milk. I'm so thirsty. And besides, this fairy godmother looked a little odd. Why are your hands so fuzzy? And why are your ears so big? And why are your teeth so sharp? Wait a second. You're the big bad wolf, aren't you? Are you okay? What took so long? And then Pinocchio made the first real boy decision of his entire life. He told the truth. I used the money to go to the circus. The big bad wolf tried to get me to run away, but I just couldn't leave you. I'm sorry, Papa. It's okay, Pinocchio. I am disappointed, but you did the right thing. You came back and you told the truth and you said you were sorry. And because Pinocchio did that, his wooden nose went back to normal size and then it turned into a real nose. And his wooden head, it turned into a real head. And he turned into a real boy. The old man was so happy and they decided to celebrate. And they would have had cookies, but they were still out of milk. So they ate popcorn and cotton candy instead. Delicious. And that's the end of the tale. Hi everybody, Nikki here with an all new Nikki's Wiki. Today we'll be talking about fairies. My favorite is Tinkerbell from Peter Pan. Do you know that different cultures have all different types of fairies? Some are sweet and helpful, while others are tricky and mischievous. Some have wings, and some don't. Some are as small as mice, and some are as tall as you and me. Some people don't think fairies are real. Those are the same boring people who don't believe in Santa, and who don't think Peter Pan can fly. I feel bad for those people. Okay, one of my favorite types of fairies comes from Ireland. Yup, a leprechaun is a type of fairy. Just like Lucky, with his Lucky Charms. Mmm, I love me Lucky Charms. In Ireland, leprechauns like to hide from humans and play tricks on us. But you can keep them on your good side by leaving a bread and milk for them to eat and drink, as many Irish people do. In Japan, little fairies called Chin Chin Kobakama are believed to live inside houses. Some people believe that if you keep your house nice and clean, the Chin Chin Kobakama will keep intruders and pests away. But if you never clean your room, like my brother Ricky, they'll tease you for being lazy and messy. In the Spanish culture, the Anjanas are beautiful fairies with wings. They are about as tall as a banana, and they have sweet singing voices. They wear crowns of wild flowers, and they were sent to Earth to protect humans, to do good deeds, and give gifts. Wow, there really are so many different types of fairies, but they almost always seem to be pretty fun and smart. The most famous fairy of all is probably Tinkerbell, who is Peter Pan's best friend. We all know how clever he thinks he is. <laughs> Sometimes I think Tinkerbell is the real brains of that duo. Clap if you believe in fairies and if you agree that Tink is a real smart cookie. And how about Cinderella's fairy godmother? I wish I had a fairy godmother like her. She shows up just in time to get Cinderella ready for the ball and knows just what Cindy needs to be the belle of the ball and impress the prince. Speaking of princes, Prince Cornelius from Thumbelina is one heroic fairy. Sure, he starts off a little rough, but he sure proves himself. Prince Cornelius rides a bumblebee like a horse and helps Thumbelina become a fairy herself when they share a true love's kiss. Uh, I bet fairy weddings are a real blast. One of my favorite things about a lot of fairies are their animal friends. If I was a fairy, I'd want to communicate with animals by reading their thoughts and emotions. How cool is that? Remember Flora, Fauna, and Merryweather from Sleeping Beauty? Just wants to make all kinds of magic. They can shrink themselves, fly, make objects come to life, and of course, they make Princess Aurora sleep to save her from the evil Maleficent's curse. Did you know that Maleficent is a fairy too? Maleficent chooses to use her powers for evil, but she's a fairy all the same. In fact, Maleficent becomes evil because someone stole her wings. Isn't that rude? Still, Maleficent didn't have to become so mean. 
she should have only used her powers for good. Seems like she needed some guidance from the Blue Fairy from Pinocchio. The Blue Fairy forgives Pinocchio for lying and turns him into a real boy. She says to always let her conscience be your guide. Good advice. Well, hey there, boys and girls. Crafty Carol here with a brand new craft for you right here at Cool School. That's right. Now, today's craft is going to make quite a few of you very excited. And I know because I have these comments as evidence. But there's one of you out there, and I'm talking to you, Sonia. There's one of you who's very excited. So excited, in fact, that you changed your YouTube username to make a Tinkerbell craft. So. I can't ignore that. So, today, Sonia and all of you guys, we're gonna do a Tinkerbell craft. And it's perfect timing because Miss Booksy is going to do a Tinkerbell story. Now that's coming up super soon. So, if you haven't already subscribed to Cool School, you better subscribe so you don't miss Miss Booksy doing a Tinkerbell story. Come on, it's like the best thing ever. Let's see what's in the old craft box today. We've got some Mod Podge, some cool pink scissors, yellow ribbon, duct tape, glitter, socks, a little spongy, three coat hangers, metal, not plastic. Sorry, plastic's not gonna work. So the first thing we're gonna do, so we're gonna take one of our little trouser socks here. Basically, these are the same as like tights. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just going to wrap this over. A wing here. And just as I'm putting it over, I'm gonna start kind of adjusting my hanger into a wing shape. You wanna just stretch it nice and tight so you don't have all that extra fabric hanging off. I'm gonna wrap it around here for now. Let's go ahead and duct tape this together. And it doesn't have to look beautiful. Don't worry about the middle part right now. So let's get our other one going. About the same. Oh yeah, that's looking pretty similar. Let's just tape this down. So I've got one more wire hanger here. So what we're gonna do with this one is we're gonna kind of shape it into two little wings. Did I tell you that I'm the strongest person in the world? I mean, look at me. I'm just bending metal with my bare hands. It's pretty good. Check it out. So we gotta cover this with some trouser socks. Go. That way you got two distinct little wings there. But we gotta duct tape this into place. Our two big wings here. And then we've got our two smaller little small wings here. So what I did is I just bent these out just a little bit. See? Alright, so before we actually attach all these together, we gotta decorate these. I'm gonna get a lot, a lot of Mod Podge on here. And let's shake out some glitter. Take off our excess glitter onto a plate because, you know, we won't be able to use that glitter later. Let's do our other side here. I better switch to my, my backup sponge. This one's all, this one looks like a disco ball. Of course, I just have regular glitter here, not, not fairy dust, but it's worth a shot. Let's see. I'm thinking very happy thoughts. I'm thinking about ice cream and snowmen and candy and crafting and flying and flying. Uh, I guess I need Drew to come over and help me make a jetpack or something. Because this glitter's not working. It's just regular glitter. All right, time to decorate our other wing here. And then we glitter. So what are your favorite happy thoughts? If you saw Tinkerbell and she was like, all you need is this fairy dust and some happy thoughts and you'll be able to fly, what would you think of? I want to know. Tell me in the comments what your happy thoughts are. Word of advice, or should I say warning. You're gonna get glitter everywhere. For the bottom wings, we're gonna do basically the same thing here. Mod Podge. Beautiful. I think these are pretty good and dry. So I'm going to take first my two, two big guy wings here. And I'm just going to put those together. Okay. Pretty tied up together there. So now I'm just going to attach these little guys. 
I'm just gonna wrap this around. All right, so we've got these two parts here taped together, but I'm gonna use this extra sock here. I'm gonna cover up that tape. I'm just gonna wrap this around just a smidge. Now we need to add some ribbon so that we can actually wear these bad boys. It's basically you're just making two, two loops with your ribbon. That's one way to make them so where they fit anybody. You make big loops and then you just pull them together and cinch it with a ribbon in the middle there. And there you have it, boys and girls. Super easy, super awesome Tinkerbell Fairy Wings. Oh, I want to know how yours turn out, so have your mom or dad take a picture, post it to Instagram, tag me, tag Cool School Show. I want to see how those fairy wings turn out. we do some other fan shout outs here. See, Dalal Badar said, please, can you make the wings of Tinkerbell? Yes, I can. And we've got Abila Khan, please, please, please do a Tinkerbell craft. Please, Crafty Carol, P.S. You're my favorite. Ooh, thank you so much. Chevelle says, make a Tinkerbell craft, please, 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 please. Ima Rashid, Crafty Carol, can you make a Tinkerbell craft, please? That would be awesome. Guys, keep commenting. I love hearing from you. And do not forget that we're going to have a cool school crafting box sending out soon. So if your mom or dad, check out that description below to find out how you can get one sent to your house. I can't wait to craft with you. That's it. You go fly away now.